Hey guys, look who I found in the bathroom while I was testing the lot. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Visit Joe and welcome to another Childhood Memories build. Today we are building a restaurant based off of Polly Pockets Burger Bar and I want to tell you what I didn't do right now. I didn't make it a burger bar and that is because there's about like two different types of burgers in this game. There's just the regular hamburger and then the veggie burger and that's it. So instead I made it a vegetarian restaurant and so this is Stromas and you are probably wondering what is a Stroma? Well I just looked it up. A Stroma is basically it's the fluid that surrounds the chloroplast which is where plants do photosynthesis and all the other fancy stuff that people and animals can't do and makes them require a trip to McDonald's to satisfy their needs. There's also a bunch of other stuff that it means in biology but that's really the one I was going for since this is a vegetarian restaurant, so you can't say you didn't learn anything today. Once again, I don't have the toy that this was based on, but I do have some pictures of it that I will leave up here, and I will try and find a video that I will leave in the description down below or in a comment or something like that, so you will have to just scroll down and you will find it if you want to see the toy that this is based off of. I didn't do it exactly the same because, well, you know, The Sims does have its limitations. Like, I can't paint one wall two different colors. And so I tried to do the pink and it just did not work out. But I did at least try to make it somewhat recognizable and keep, you know, the main, like, draw, um, I, I don't know what it's called. What's that word I'm looking for? I'm not even sure right now. But anyway, kind of like, you know, the main feature, there we go, the feature of the toy, which is the drive through So I decided, since there was so much space left, and this was just a really simple square building, I decided to go ahead and make a drive through So I just used, you know, a bunch of those, like, small fences that Sims can step over to make kind of like a custom drive through and I had, like, you know, the debug cars. Of course, they're not functional, but... You know, I don't want them to be. I want it to look like a drive through not to be, like, constantly changing. And speaking of that, boy, do I have a story to tell you about this build. Okay. So basically, you know, after I had, you know, finished it and I went in to test it and everything, I sent Darren and Destiny over to test the build before I started filming the um, showcase of it. And I noticed that while I was doing this, that there were seats on top of the, um... Like dining spots, you know, on the top of the roof, because that's what the toy had. It had like a little, there was the kitchen and stuff was down below, and then Polly Pocket would walk up to the roof, and there's, that's where, um, the what you call, there were, where she would eat her burgers, you know? And so I noticed that there were tables and chairs that were just randomly disappearing. I didn't know why. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So, you know, I quit. I go back into building by mode. I put some more stuff there, I put the chairs back and everything, and then I went back to film it thinking, okay, maybe that was just a bug, maybe it was just something, I don't know, maybe it was just some bug that came to the update or something, of course that wouldn't change it if I went back into it, but either way, I gotta get these videos done, so I have to film the showcase. I went back with everyone this time, Dirk, Lilith, Darren, Destiny, and it was happening again. These things just kept randomly disappearing, and it was like more than that this time. It was like... I don't even know. I saw Sims doing it. Like, it would just fade. Like, I don't know. It's like, no, I want that there. What are you doing? So I went on Twitter, and it turns out the sharing is caring nap was activated in this neighborhood for some reason. And things were disappearing because Sims were stealing them. So now that I finally figured out what the heck was actually going on, I was actually able to head into one of the residential houses in the neighborhood, repeal that nap, and then put something else in there that didn't have to deal with, um, you know, just random objects disappearing. And then I had to re-go in and basically refill everything again. So when this build finally gets on the gallery, which I tried to do a couple days ago, but it wouldn't work because apparently the gallery was under maintenance and nobody said a dang thing. Okay, yes, yeah, Sim Guru Frost said something on Twitter, but to be fair, I didn't even see that on my Twitter feed. I had to go to the freaking recommended for you page in order to actually see that tweet. So publishing could have been a little bit better. I'm not blaming the Sim Gurus for that. I'm blaming Twitter for that. Twitter, that's your fault. But anyway, so either way, this will be uploaded on the gallery eventually, probably within the next couple of weeks because the update's coming out. And I like to get everything on the gallery before the update. So, 
when you see the showcase and you see the lot on the gallery, it's going to look a little bit different than what was, you know, than what I show building here. And that is why. Also, something funny I thought we'd, I would share with you guys is that the host ended up being a servo. Yes, a whole new definition to robots are taking our jobs. But yeah, I did not, I don't have anyone running this restaurant. I see him running this restaurant right now, so I didn't have any control over that. Uh, probably funnier still was that the servo's name was Segfault. Ha ha. Yeah, if you've done any kind of programming, you will know that that is an error that comes up when I don't even remember. I haven't programmed in years. But I do have a degree in computer science, so I am familiar with the term, and that's why it's really kind of funny. And the thing is, is that I deleted all the servos from my game. I didn't really want any servos, but they keep coming back. I don't know why. Maybe it's because robots want to take over the world. I have no idea what's going on. But I keep deleting them, and they keep reappearing. And I know there was one that was a mixologist at one place, and there was one that... I don't even remember. It, it, it just is kind of funny where these servos kind of show up. And as I'm watching this back, I kind of see all the um stuff I missed when I put things back on the, um, whatchamacallit, the restaurant. There we go. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that now. As for, since this is a vegetarian restaurant, I did decorate with a lot of different plants. And aside from just putting a bunch of um chairs and tables on the roof. I actually did put like a little lattice with a bunch of plants on top of it, which I am going to do right now as a matter of fact. So you do have a shaded area to eat and since basically most of the restaurants are having outdoor serving right now, you can actually right now at the time I am recording this have an indoor dining room open, but there are some restaurants that haven't opted for that. So of course by the time this actually goes up that might have reversed because things are beginning to look bad again. but. But it's nice out, why not dine outside? Well, it's not that nice out. It's really hot and really humid out right now. So I can understand why people would opt to dine inside. But since I don't like eating out at restaurants, I wasn't going to restaurants anyway. So I'm pretty much safe from that. My parents are the ones that like to go out to eat. And that's when I would, you know, do voiceovers before the whole virus came along. And made that not an option. So... Yeah, and I'm just, I have to find the time to do these voiceovers. I'm doing it right now because my mom's not home. And I pretty much have like free reign of, well, I don't have like free reign of house because my dad's home, but my dad stays a lot of the time downstairs and all the other stuff that I have is upstairs. So I don't really have to worry about him listening in on conversations like I do with my mom because well, she will, she'll, she'll just, I don't know. It's kind of a complicated thing that I have going on here and, you know, with everything involving certain situations in the world and all this other stuff, it's just like, you know, she almost constantly has the news on and so I really can't do these voiceovers when she's home. So I have to get these done while I have the opportunity to do, to do so. Anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Short and sweet, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate if you left a like and or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this and you want to see more. Anyway, you can follow me on social media. I am on Facebook at Visit... No, not Facebook. I am on Twitter at Visit Joan Videos and Instagram at Visit Joan. So be sure to check out those. And that's going to be it for, you, for me, you guys. I'm going to be seeing you in the next video. Bye everyone! I hope you have a fantastic day.